That certainly does not look like fun. It never does, but especially so on a golf course. But that's what the Cardinals will have to contend with in this year's North Central Fall Invitational at Naperbrook. Last year, senior Megan Kelly was the Cardinals' top scorer, averaging 87 strokes a round, and she's looking for a quick start off the box, and so is freshman Maggie Russell. Fifth green, Kelly with a long putt for birdie. Just off, and she has to settle for a par. Russell's approach going just a tad too far, but her chip shot, a beauty. But she finishes with a bogey. We'll catch up with these two again on the back nine. To six in Nicole Dutes, just inside the 150-yard marker, and look at that shot. Sticks it right by the pin, and I would have given her the gimme, but she still knocks it through for a birdie. The senior averaging an 87 this season. To the ninth, and here's Gillian Young who so far in 2016 has shaved nearly six strokes off her average score. She puts it within striking distance and then proceeds to sink it home. After the front nine, the rain, lightning, and thunder roll into town, and that, well, that was supposed to be a bunker. Russell now in the 13th fairway. Looks like she likes it, and for good reason. Kelly on the same hole, and check this out. Speed bump. Good thing it hit. Kelly able to save par. Back to Young. Now on 17. The approach shot. Useful. Young with an 81. Top Cardinal in the tourney. 7th overall. Back to Dutes on 18. She finishes 14th with an 83. Russell comes in 15th. Kelly 21st. And Laura Ringo 25th. Cards as a team finish 3rd out of the 18 field. A good showing 2 weeks ahead of conference. Um, I thought it went really well for the weather conditions. My ball striking was really on, was really good today. And the only thing I would really improve was my putting and my short game around the green. Um, I think that's what really hurt my score today. It was pretty good. I mean, I went in with an open mind because this weekend wasn't my best. So I went in hoping to play better and improve from this weekend. And I was hoping the same for my team. So. I think they're a big comeback for them, especially from this past weekend. So I was very pleased. No, because the course didn't seem to be that affected by it. There was some standing water, but besides that, it really seemed pretty dry out there. Yeah, no, I'm really excited. And I think as annoying as it was to have it pour during mm -hmm. the round and like rain, I think it was good practice for conference because we're going to be here and playing in the rain possibly because, you know, it's October. But I think it was good. I think it was a good thing to play in this. So. Yes, very mm -hmm. high, and they know that. Mm -hmm. They know that. I mean, this is our home course. Mm -hmm. We're hosting, and so my expectation is high. I hope theirs are too. Um, I think from the round that they shot today, uh, they know we have a shot. They know that we have a shot to dethrone the uh, current champion, which is Illinois Wesleyan. But we also have to overcome Carthage as well. But yeah, I believe in this team. It was on a course that I hadn't played, and. Um, it just built my confidence in knowing that I can just go out and do what I know I can do. I think we're all going to do our best. Like I think we do have some high expectations of ourselves to play well since we've been playing here all season for practice. So I think that is kind of high, but I think we're mostly going to try to go in open-minded and clear-minded, like just try to do our best. I guess my whole problem is, is that they have done it before. Mm -hmm. You know, they have gone low before. Mm -hmm. So maybe the time is in two weeks. Mm -hmm. And if it is, then I think uh, we can hold our heads high.